It's okay to not respond. It's okay not to like the art. El Paso Museum of Art Tour Guide for Shell Wilson is part of a partnership between the museum and Fort Bliss aimed at helping veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder. The idea is to get you there and to get you to feel. The museum received a grant in order to better serve the veterans who were using the museum as part of art therapy. So we found out that the Warrior Resiliency Center in Fort Bliss was bringing soldiers to the museum without any guides or um, any facilitation beyond the art therapist answering questions where she could. So once we found that out, we um, reached out to the WRC and asked Danielle if they would be interested in having some sort of facilitated experience at the museum. With the help of the museum staff and local artists, visiting veterans from Fort Bliss's Warrior Resilience Center are encouraged to explore the museum's artwork, from local artists like Tom Lee to a Franz Mark on loan from the Guggenheim. Uh, when the guys come into the museum, they come with their therapist. The idea is to give them an hour to wander around, to explore, have questions, um, tell us things they like, and kind of figure out things in the museum. As part of the matching grant, worth several thousand dollars. Soldiers are encouraged to do more than just observe artwork while at the museum. It pays for the supplies that the soldiers use in the classroom, as well as supplies for the soldiers to take home so they can continue to do printmaking once they've left the museum. Museum staff that we spoke with said that many soldiers have expressed their gratitude for the program to help soldiers with PTSD and that many had come back for multiple visits. And uh, when they leave, I always pray that they got something out of it, that it was worth their time. I hope they do. I hope they do. Yeah. Yeah. Reporting for Borderzine, Jason Green.